you should not underestimate Primark because they're coming in with the goodies. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an exciting video and of course it is a Primark makeup. This bad boy. Primagang, 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 ooh. Primagang, 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 ooh. I'm actually quite impressed and surprised at how well it turned out. Like, Primark are doing bits, you know? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Sip on my coffee as I write another hit. At times I get cocky so I keep a joint lit that rhymes. T-shirt the same color as my skin, that's why. Ah, ah, ah. I'm revealing all my insecurities for the world to see. <sighs> I am reviewing Primark makeup. Oh, this looks really dark. Um, I went ahead and bought some Primark makeup because I wanted to see how good it is and all of that. And I've been seeing quite a lot of reviews. So I'm like, do you know what? Let's test this out and see if people are being honest or not. Um, ooh. So this one is the My Perfect Color Matte Foundation. It was three pounds. It says it's medium to full coverage as well, yeah? I have nothing on. I just done my eyebrows and my eyes. And I've never tried Primark foundation. So this is like literally first impression. If I keep looking down, it's because I've got my mirror here. And obviously I want to see where I'm applying the foundation and all of that. Yeah, I decided to put this on because, I don't know, it just felt easier to have it on and then do my makeup. Insecurity is being exposed. It looks very dark. Maybe I picked a shade that's way too darker for my skin tone, but this is um, Rich Espresso. So, let's go ahead and dive right in. Oh, this is way too dark. Damn. But the consistency is not runny at all. It's quite thick. But it's way too dark. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh. It actually blends in. Not too Let me take this earring off. Guys, it looks like I don't know my <laughs> it looks like I don't know my shade. But guys, like when I picked this up and then I actually kind of compared it, it looked very like it looked like it was gonna be my shade. But like not having it on, it's so it's too dark. But um when you blend it, it kind of just goes into your skin and then it looks alright. So let's just go ahead. <laughs> In person it looks much better but this is the first layer and it has not done anything for me at all um, maybe I just need to pull on a second layer but right now like you can still like it looks like I have nothing on so I guess it's good for like everyday wear okay do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a second layer and see <laughs> oh my gosh so once you put the second layer on you that's when you start to actually realize how dark it is let's try and bring some life into it okay we're gonna try our best i can't quite achieve anyway i just go with this one is matte is it actually matte it's 
slightly matte but it's not all that matte like you're still gonna need a lot of powder to kind of set it but it's not as oily as i thought it was gonna be so it actually does what it says it's gonna do <music> camera it looks really dark and i feel like I've, i keep repeating this point but it's true on camera it looks way darker than it does in person this highlighter is the makeup revolution vivid baked bronzer but i use this as a highlighter because it's not bronzing nothing for me um i read this is one of my favorite highlighters hands down but yeah it's not too bad Ooh, just a little bit of glow this look I will just go ahead and line my lips with some brown pencil nothing too crazy <clears throat> very very natural it blends in with my skin tone and then just go ahead and use this glitter lip gloss from black up actually digging this makeup oh my god let me take this bad boy off hair just changes people mate <laughs> love yeah listen i paid three pounds for this i'm not complaining fam hi guys so um i've literally been chilling and like the foundation and everything is still matte and i'm actually so surprised at how well this thing is remaining together because i legit thought like after it was gonna get oily but um i haven't worn it for that long but like it's still pretty matte and even though it looked really really dark like it actually blends in with your skin and it actually looks good um the only thing that as the longer i'm wearing it i'm finding out is that it has a bit of a gray undertone but um i don't know it's still it's working it's still in science it's still in science <laughs> okay so guys i've been wearing this for about six to seven hours and it's getting slightly oily but um listen it's primark and it's three pounds and it's done its job so yeah i'm gonna take it off now but you can tell it's getting a bit oily and my actual skin is starting to like come out because the foundation is like fading but um this is how it looks after like wearing it for such a long time so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as I said, don't forget to follow my socials, subscribe to my channel, and of course, turn on your notification button. Love you all and see you soon. No, it's like a garden house. <laughs> I feel like man's not hot. I feel like man's not hot. Take off your jacket. Man's not hot. Do not forget to follow my socials like this video and share of course if you enjoyed it and you guys will see more videos from me bye and also do not forget to subscribe like and comment